Let's figure out the mass of just one molecule of NH3, that's ammonia. So we're looking at the mass of just one single molecule of ammonia. To do that, all we really have to do is find the molar mass for ammonia and then divide by that molar mass by Avogadro's number. So let's do that. Let's first find the molar mass. We go to the periodic table. For ammonia, we have one nitrogen atom. So we have this here, 14.01 grams per mole for ammonia, plus we have three of these hydrogen atoms. So hydrogen on the periodic table, 1.01. We have three of those. We add 14.01 to 1.01 times three. We get 17.04 and the units grams per mole. So we have the molar mass for ammonia. We're just going to divide that by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. That'll give us the mass of one molecule of ammonia, NH3. Grams in one mole of ammonia. And we're going to multiply this by a conversion factor. It's the same thing as dividing by Avogadro's number, but now the units cancel out. So we know that one mole of any substance, that's going to be Avogadro's number. So now when we multiply the top and then divide by the bottom, moles cancel out. We're left with our grams here. So we end up with 2.83 times 10 to the negative 23rd. And the units, those are the grams there. So one molecule of ammonia, NH3, is 2.83 times 10 to the negative 23rd grams. And we know that it should be a small number. It should be really small since it's a molecule. That negative 23rd there kind of points that out to us. So again, really all we did, we divided molar mass by Avogadro's number to figure out the mass of one molecule of NH3. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.